Okay, to really learn to follow well, what you want to do is go really slowly at first. So I'm going to lead. So I'm leading, I begin a step, I, my weight goes in the back foot, I'm ready to move the front, and he's following perfectly. So when the weight goes into my back foot and I'm releasing the front, his weight's going into the front foot and he's releasing the back, which allows him to follow me if I go fast and big. I go big, he can follow. He went small and I went big. Big, he follows. Small, I follow. If you can follow me, this way too. Keep your weight back. As I go this way, you're going back. That's it. And then you're following very nicely. These are good. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. We can practice two different skills at once. First, just following where when I'm moving consistently, and also change of direction where whenever I stop, he takes over. So he's thinking of taking over as soon as I stop. So we're working on following skills and also direction changes anytime you have the opportunity to take over control. <laughs> so I can practice putting two steps together at different speeds. So for example, I can go slow, slow, and while I'm working on that, my partner can be pra practice following me very well. So I'm going to start slow and slow. Slow and slow. Okay, and then I, and I can also change that. I can go. I can practice slow fast. So slow fast, and he's following me perfectly. Slow fast. Slow fast. Slow fast. And one other rhythm that you'd like to have too is a fast slow. So I'm going to take a fast step and then immediately go into a slow step. I don't want to go. Watch this. Would be an incorrect rhythm. I don't want to go. Ba ba ba. That's too long. I want to go. Ba ba ba. So I land and then slow. Fast, slow. To make sure that your weight doesn't get too far forward when you're advancing, a very helpful skill is to practice. He's going to advance, and I'm either going to retreat or advance into his advance. If I advance into his advance, he's going to do a half advance retreat. So advance, retreat. Advance, take your time. Go a little slower so I can follow. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So yes, he started in advance. I advanced into it the third time. Let's do that again. One, two, three. Right? So he's practicing changing directions. So another skill would be to be able to uh, follow the distance as the distance changes. So that one, one exercise we could do to test that is we could just practice a lunge where if he lunges and I stay very close, we start close, he just sticks his arm out and hits me. Or if I pull back a little, he makes it longer, he holds it a little bit, goes longer. And if I break the distance right away, he turns it into advanced lunge. All right, clearly you want to be able to take advantage of, the, of your opponent finishing an action, and we call that taking over the attack, being able to catch with an advanced lunge there. So that's really a following skill. It's a, it's a relational skill. So let's practice that a little bit. I'm moving, moving, moving. I attack. He steps back out of distance on the attack, out of distance, hits me with an advanced lunge. You can also do this when I stop. So if I just go forward and pause, he can take over the attack. One more. Good. All right, this is a very similar skill to taking over the attack, but now I'm going to stay slightly closer. So let's say on the very last action, I lunge, and instead of taking a full retreat, first take a full retreat, take a full retreat, out of distance, and I land short. Instead of that, a little half retreat, so I land very close to the chest, and there he's going to make a parry repo. So in foil and saver especially, we want to be able to go boom, boom, be able to make that half retreat lunge. So he's following me, half retreat lunge. Yes, he's practicing his parry repost rhythm from going back. It's not bop. This half retreat lunge. Bop, bop. That's Another skill that we don't necessarily think is a relational skill, but really is, is when you get to the end of a lunge and you haven't hit and you have to keep fencing, you have to stay in relation to your opponent. So if he lunges and I step out of distance, he wants to recover and retreat. He followed me perfectly, so I couldn't catch him. So. Lunge, cover, retreat. Okay, advance and lunge. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, don't, don't break the distance, just keep the distance. Boom, 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 boom. Good. You want to be able to get your opponent to follow you as you go backwards. So you move steadily, smoothly, backwards, and then once you get them following you, then you can make a direction change. So we're going to practice retreat, retreat, half retreat, lunge. And he's going to make sure that I'm, he's moving in the same rhythm when he begins that half retreat before he lunges, so that I follow into the step. Okay, go ahead. So you're pulling me forward. 
Good. A little more. Yeah, good. So I want to follow, and then he's actually he's hitting me still before my foot hits the ground, which is correct. Okay, another thing you want to be able to get your opponent to follow is if you finish an action and you want them to take over the attack. So if I if I move in such a way that they want to come forward, I can get them to come forward, step away and hit them, or step back and parry. So I can finish my short attack, but in a way that they want to follow. So and he follows, bump, 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 bump. So I can step out of distance and go. You try. So you finish, bump, 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 bump. Good. We can also do that simply with finishing in advance in such a way that you hang there for a second and make it comfortable for me to go the other direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. good. Very good. Okay, another thing I can teach my opponent through my movement is that if I finish a forward movement and pull away, they won't be able to catch me if they try to take over the attack. So I could, we just did, I could hang out there and encourage them to take over the attack, or I could pull away so they don't take over the attack. And once I teach them not to bother following me, so I get them not to follow me, then I, that sets up a half retreat advance lunge. So let's see if I can get uh, Andrew to do this. Okay, so he feels that he, he doesn't bother attacking when I stop because I'm pulling away. And so that I pull away and then I go the other direction. It's important that you see that I have the same energy back when I finally do the false action. And I have to go forward, pull, forward, pull, and then go the other way. So I've got to really concentrate on taking my time and doing the same thing when I do the half retreat. Okay, I also want to be able to create a rhythm that my opponent can follow and then suddenly change it. And there are endless variations that we could try, but we're just going to try one here, which is I'm going to move forward with two advances, slow, and then another slow one, and then I'm going to do that again, and then he learns to follow that rhythm, and then I'm going to go slow and then make a fast advance, and then I'll catch them because he's, he's expecting that second slow step. Okay, so I'm going to train him, and then I'm going to change it. Huh? La, 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 la. Don't worry. All right, and then change the rhythm. You know, you get used to the rhythm. Here's the rhythm. And then easy. Okay, good. And it's, there are endless variations, and you should try and make one up. You can make up your own. You know, you go two, two steps forward and pause and move away. Two steps forward, pause and move away. And the next time, two steps forward, like you're going to pause, and then you take an advanced launch. So there's endless variation here. 